Developing tonight, outrage from conservationists tonight centering around this photo. Arizona officials confirming it's the pelt of a jaguar that's been living here in the southwest. An endangered species that was one of a kind, one of the last of its kind. Team 12's Adam Bagney spoke to the local group who released the image. He joins us live with their reaction to this apparent case of poaching. Adam? Yeah, Caribe, this was devastating news for conservationists. This animal isn't just rare to Arizona. It was one of the only two known wild jaguars in America. But local officials believe the animal was killed on the Mexican side of the border, so there's really nothing they can do. Well, it's extremely sad. It's, it's sort of become a trend to hear this bad information. Heartbreak and frustration from local environmentalists. Following the news that this photo is that of Yo Oko, one of the few remaining wild jaguars in America. This video is of a different jaguar from the Phoenix Zoo, where Jan Skipper has been studying the animals for decades. They're having problems on both sides of the border. They're coming into the U.S. and then it's almost always males, right? And then they're, they're leaving to go back to the U.S. So there's lots of threats along the way on both sides. So it's, it's really unfortunate when we hear about a jaguar being killed by, by people intentionally. The jaguar, named last year by a Tucson high school, was photographed in the southern Arizona mountains back in 2016. Arizona Game and Fish telling 12 News, five biologists examined the photos side by side and determined the spotted pelt was a match. The picture was obtained by the Tucson-based Northern Jaguar Project, which will only say that it was taken in Mexico to protect the man who released it. There are a handful of, of conservation ranchers in Mexico who need a lot more support than they're currently getting. They're living in sort of a, an adverse relationship with their neighbors sometimes. And while Skipper says the latest news is discouraging, he says he hopes it leads to more awareness that these amazing animals need to be protected before they're gone forever. We need the entire public, or at least a majority of the public, to be engaged with this. We can't just continue to wait for a new generation to, to come around because there might not be Jaguar left by then. And I did also speak to a prominent Mexican environmentalist tonight. I asked him what the odds are that the person who did this actually gets caught. He said he's not optimistic because authorities there just don't have enough resources. Caribe. All right, Adam, thanks so much.